Taking these journeys where I'm gonna need an interpreter. Baby, I had a problem, I couldn't solve with the murderer. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite for the kind of RPG, man. Today, bro, we gonna react to GB Eddie, man. Uh, I thought there would be a music video for this. Apparently, there's not. Um, well, well, fuck it, bro. Like, I gotta react to this kind of shit, right? If someone, if, if I say I'm gonna react to those, those, those songs, I'm gonna react to it, man. Fuck it, bro. Anyways, man, let's get started this shit, alright? Eddie, me sacas a todos tus amigos de aquí. Ya te dije que no te andes juntando con esos cholos marihuanos, son unos callejeros. Y ahí vas tú también. Me lo sacas de aquí, pero ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay. I've been to the same shit that just happened in the beginning of this song, bro. This one time, bro, like, okay, my mom saw me with, like with these, uh, with these, with my friends, uh, to my friends, you know, right, my homies. And he said, "Por qué estás juntando con esos baitos, man? No es pura callejeros, 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 man. Why not to us? Por qué estás juntando con esos?" I'm like, "Okay, so what's the big deal? What's the fucking big deal?" That's why I said to her, "I didn't put, I didn't, I didn't put the f bomb. I didn't do the f bomb, but like I said, what, what's the, what's the damn big deal? That's why I said the damn big deal." So I said, I used to talk back to my mother, man. Like, I didn't care, bro. Back then, I didn't care. I talked back to my mom, bro. I was a major asshole. I, I wasn't an asshole to my mom, but I was like, uh, so talked back at it to my mom a lot, bro. I can't stand on today, but like, not too much. Like, but most of like, most of these days, I'd be like, ah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Why don't, agree, but when every time they disagree on something, bro, like, what you mean? Like, what you mean? Like, ma, what you mean, ma? Like, dang, like, I, they get me pissed out every time. Like, seriously, man. Like, damn, like, mostly me and my mom might be arguing back and forth some month back in the days. Nowadays, it's just, like, a little by little. Not back and forth by, like that, like, a little, little, little by little, you know? It's getting better now. It's getting better now, you know? When I was lurking in the field From playing on the playground To playing with my steel Growing up in my city Things started getting real She came to the states With my brothers and my sisters Landed on the 12th Right by food center We was broke But happy with the little that we had Man, it's like life was Tell about that, bro My mama broke her back Working in the field my mama, I, I broke her back more When I was lurking in the field Alright, man I felt alright, man But like Like Man, bro, like, look, my mama, my mama, like, worked her ass off for me her whole life, man. Like, not her whole life, but, like, most, my whole life, actually. My whole life. Provide for me anything a mama should do, bro, for the family, for your for your kids, man, straight up. When I was turning, when I got, when I got back to my old town, my old town, bro, which was Temecula, man. Um, You know, it's technically anything ghetto, yada, yada, shit like that. The reason why... I know ghetto because, like, you know, my grandma lives in Tijuana and shit like that, bro. You feel me? My grandma lives in Tijuana. Um, been there, been visiting there all my life. So, let's go back. Let's get back on track with the, with the mother shit. Um, so, when I started, I started going out more. I started going hanging with friends more, yada, yada, shit like that. And, um, I've been smoking. I've been started, I started to smoke at the age, at, that, um, at freshman year at my high school. My mom didn't know that I tried to keep a secret for her. I did. But I, was, I was like, I decided not to tell her no more. And that was a stupid idea. I should not have told her. So, I could have kept that secret. I could have kept me smoking weed a secret. But ever since my mom started smoking weed, she started having doubts about me. She started saying I'm a disappointment. You know, I have a song in King Lil G from Hopeless Boy, where I react to. My mama on the phone with the. Something about my mama on the phone with the fam looking disappointed. Oh man, I'm a disappointment. You know, he didn't say the first part, but I know he said my mom looking so dis say I'm a disappointment. Oh man, why I'm a disappointment. 
Like, that's something like that, bro. Like, you know? And, um, yeah, bro. Like, we've been, like, yeah, man. My mom couldn't take it no more. Like, one time I went out to the store. I ain't went out to the store. I just went out to the store, you know, just get me a goddamn drink, and that's it. I went to all this, give me a drink, man. That's it. Mama comes home crying, and then try to slap me, me like a slap box and shit. <laughs> yeah, man. She was, like, crying, and she was like, the fuck is wrong with you? I went out for a goddamn soda. But, like, for me, bro, like, it's still, it's still, like, when I text my mom cry, bro, like, I do feel bad, but at the same time, I don't. Okay, let me tell you why. One, I don't feel bad because I already did it. Two, I feel bad because that's my mom. That's why. So, I don't say I don't really feel bad. I don't say I don't feel bad. Cause like, I do feel both, bro. I'm going to say I don't really feel bad. That's the thing. So, yeah, you might say, Alan, you fuck RPG, you kind of fucked up, bro. Like, I'm sorry, bro. That's the thing, bro. I'm sorry, man. Deal with it, man. I don't give a fuck. But right now, I'm just trying to do good. Go back to school, as I said, I'm going to. Get my diploma, and uh, my mom proud, bro. But I'm still going to do this YouTube shit, bro. But I might do this shit when I get into school, bro. I might get do this shit probably Saturday or Sundays only, bro. Or maybe every Saturday, bro. I don't know. Was so simple in the past, but time passed and I had fun a lot. It became second nature just to run from cops. The streets took me under and I love the block. Then my mama started tripping off the sun a lot. But listen, I was getting money when I plugged the knocks. Wasn't much but enough, plus I love the thought. I could finally afford all the stuff I want. Cause growing up brown and broke, we would want a lot. Man. Ya me dijo mi comadre que te miró las calles con sus cholillos y sus pantalones a media nalga. Ya te dije, más vale que te calmes. Y hoy no me vas a salir. ¿Qué no tienes casa o qué? Oh my god, bro. This is I'm right by right hearing this, bro. It's like I'm hearing my mom talk to me from back in the days, bro. It's like how my mom is saying I hear my mom talk to me, bro. Cause I, I do actually like look, bro, like I do actually keep my shorts and pants like like half halfway, bro, like halfway, man. But every time I go out, every time I go out, and she be she be talking like that, bro. You know what I say? Guess what I do, bro? I wait for a minute and go out. I didn't give a shit, bro. I didn't give a shit. Sure, man. I didn't even give a shit, bro. That's facts, man. Until we moved, bro, that's why all these changed, bro. I got no one, I don't know anyone here that lives in Minifi, man. Anyone here, bro. Straight up. Yeah. Now I got a red flag hanging, stolen pistol aiming, Dickies Chuck Taylors, and kicking it with gangsters. Kicked out of school, now my house is getting raided. My mama's getting worried cause the sun is getting aimless. See, told me tú no entiendes, y yo no sé por qué. Te portas tan mal y así yo no te crié. Siempre en la cárcel y tatuado de la piel. Se mira muy mal, mijo, ya portate bien. But I was hard headed, so I didn't listen. I looked up to OGs trying to get in where I fit in. Palms always itching. Fingers always twisted. I got what I wanted, so I made my way to prison. My mama came to visit just to say goodbye. I never felt the pain, but I seen it in her eyes. Never made my mama happy, but I won't deny I tried. Instead, I made an age with the tears, I made her cry. Damn. Te dije, pero no entiendes. Ya pórtate bien, Eddie. Ya déjame dormir. ¿Tú crees que me gusta verte así encadenado? No, mijo. La vida no es como tú piensas. Yo sé lo que te digo. Ya tienes una hija. Ponte las pilas, Eduardo. I know. I know. Ahora pues. Now every face that, is, that is like me, bro. That is definitely like me, bro. Like every time my homies and my mama be like, be like, my sister be talking shit, trying to get me, uh, get me, just get me fucking understanding shit. I be like, I know, I know. Truth is, I don't know, bro. I do that to those of they don't like. Say no, like, you know, just take like, those. They're just like, you know what? Forget, I don't give a fuck, bro. Just leave it alone, bro. I'm a hard head. You li li listen to that shit. I'm a hard head, bro. And shit up. I don't give a damn, bro. I got it from I'm my gonna say fuck the home, fuck the homie, fuck my family. I'm just saying, like, really, bro. I'm a hard head, bro. I have to. I, if, I, if hard heads got to learn, hard heads mostly had to learn the hard way, bro. You got to learn the hard way, bro. Remember, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson when I got into rehab, bro. Well, kinda, not too much. 
I'm just hiring the same same doll, you know. I'm not saying doll the same the same fool. I'm still the same fool, bro. You know, I'm still the same fool. You know, kind of. Father, but every ounce of game I have, I got it from my mama. You see, I'm grinding hard, son. You better grind harder. Used to get my ass whooped when I would get up in some problems. She tell me, I'm sorry when I hit you with a belt, and I couldn't afford all the things you like to wear. Okay, every, okay, every Mexican mother is, bro, always get hit with a belt, bro. Now, every Mexican child, I mean, stress that. Let me say that, y'all, okay? Every Mexican child always get hit by something. One, the chancla. One, the belt. Or it could be the little cable thing. <laughs> I was like, like my mama, bro, she would hit me with anything. She, when I was little kid, she would hit me with anything. One time, she, she, uh, she threw like a shoe, like a, sh no, not a shoe, but she threw something at me. What was it, bro? Let's say, um, just say, uh, she threw. Let's let's tell this. Let's say this is a microphone, right? So I use my rap, my rap songs. She, let's say this is a microphone, right? Woo, boom, there. She would hit me with anything, bro. Not not actually that, but like, damn, bro, my mama was crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, but she's still a loving mother. She's still a great mother. She's a great person. Yeah, the other. So, okay, I'm looking at this question. Let's go back. My money when the bills like and that. the food upon the shelf. Otherwise, we would still be in apartments on the 12th. On the 12th. But mama. You ain't gotta worry about a damn thing. All the things I put you through, that's a damn shame. More focused on the way I let my flag hang. Caught up in the mix just for living on this landscape. So I'm sorry when I'd make you leave work. And all the tears I made you shed on your t-shirt. Couldn't sleep, stayed up and prayed till your knees hurt. Now I gotta be smooth since and I lease birth. Hice todo lo que pude en ayudarte. Traté lo mejor en educarte, pero no entiendes. Nada más quiero que sepas que te amo. Siempre voy a estar en oración por ti. Ya pórtate bien, hijo, por favor. Damn. Shit, this song really got me, bro. This song, I really felt this song, bro. Straight up, man. Um, uh, let, me, let me talk about it for a minute, man. Hold up. Yeah, man. I already felt this song, bro. Like, it's, it's like, it's kind of like, I feel like my, my, I feel like myself talking to my mom, like, back, like, before, bro. Like, damn, I'm my fucking nose is fucking barring, bro. Like, it's like, like, inside my fucking nose, bro. But anyways, um, yeah, bro. Um, my mom would be telling me, portate bien, to eres hace caso, man. All I be doing is, like, hanging with homies. All I've been doing is my already doing my best to do my shit straight. That's all I've been trying to do. And every time my mom would say, and even though my mom would say, oh, I said caso, I said caso, I said caso, I caso. I told my mom, Ma, I'm all I'm like a, I'm a, I'm 18 now. Like don't don't get in my don't get in my business, you know? That's just bullshit. You know? I still hate when she does that. She's like, you know, parent like look look bro. Look, bro, like the one thing I hate about hate thing I hate about parents, bro, like when you have when you have your own business, they be like, "No, what's your business? Is my business. If it's that, if it's that, then how come your business ain't my it ain't my business? The fuck? That's my fucking business. Don't get mad about parents, man. Don't get mad about parents, bro. Like, yeah, if the kids have some business, okay, it doesn't. It does, okay, that shit doesn't matter when he's like when he's like a kid to fit a kid when to a kid when he's like a kid to freaking um. 17, but when he's 18 or older, bro, leave the kid, dude, let him handle his, let, let your son or daughter handle his or her business. I hate that shit, man. I hate that shit, bro. Fucking bullshit, man. Like, y'all just gonna be fucked up in the head, bro. But anyways, y'all know me complaining about that shit, bro. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get y'all in the next video. Peace. Leave a like and subscribe.